Jesus Christ. Men can lie. So people can lie for the girl. What's up? Is triangle your favorite shape? Why are you always in a triangle? Uh, <laughs> hey, the same girl. Hey, the same girl. <laughs> What's up, kings and queens? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Royalty, and you are now watching Royalty React. Bam! <laughs> hey, Islanders, welcome back. So happy Sunday to y'all. Today's episode, I will be needing a bottle of really chilled cold water. I hope you got some. <laughs> The episode started, of course, with the recoupling night after Leanne and Roxy was sent home and then Amy started crying. Yes, we saw that on Friday that Amy was crying, but <laughs> she was crying beyond just a goodbye cry that Roxy was going. She was crying, like crying and sobbing and everybody was like, what's up with the switch? So the other girls were still hugging. Roxy and Leanne, and then Olivia was trying to comfort Amy. Um, Cache was, you know, trying to comfort Amy. And the next thing, Isaiah came from behind, grabbed Cache, and started kissing her. And of course, Cache kissed him back. And, you know, Amy was just looking at them and crying. And the next thing, she was telling Olivia, Oh, I can't believe this. She's my best friend. Like, I'm all in tears and she's kissing my face. I'm like, Girl, hope. Like, hey. Hold on, <laughs> like, you're being too dramatic right now. Okay, maybe we don't get to see the whole scene, especially for those of us who do not watch it on Paramount, or maybe we don't get to really see the whole thing, but I don't see Amy dating Isaiah. They have a connect, they like each other, but they're not dating. And Isaiah kissed Cache, not Cache like kissing Isaiah. She grabbed, he grabbed her and she, she returns the kiss. So I, I don't see any reason why she was upset. Oh, um, my, she's supposed to be my best friend. I'm out here. I'm like, oh my God, girl, you are being too dramatic right now. Okay. I don't, I don't want to say she doesn't have a right to be hurt or to be sad. Everybody has a right to their feelings or whatever they're feeling. Okay. Yeah. She's hurt that Isaiah didn't pick her. Say it. If you're hurt that Isaiah picked Cache, Say it. And if you're hurt that Jeremy, whom you're not feeling, you're still with Jeremy. But girl, first of all, you should be glad that you're saved because now you have opportunity to meet new people. So that scene was a little draining for me. I'm like, okay. So everybody noticed that she was crying. You know, the guys were talking about like, hey, what's going on? And the next thing she spoke to Olivia, I don't get this, and blah, blah. And then she went on to talk to to Jeremy or Jeremy called her like oh what's going on like why are you sad but Florida said like hey you said it um we are just friends you know and <laughs> hey my goodness I'll tell you right now I didn't say that why would like she make that up I don't know Jeremy lied on national tv like before our eyes Jeremy was like oh I never said that In, when Jeremy said that I was like Jesus <laughs> <laughs> the African in me just came out. I'm like, Jesus Christ, men can lie. So people can lie for the full world, for Africa. <laughs> I was like, Jesus Christ. I, 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 like he lied so confidently. He confidently lied. I, say, I never said, I'm like, boy. <laughs> Jeremy, boy can lie. Oh my God. I'm like, Everybody heard you. We all saw you. He lied. Like he never said that to Amy. And of course, Amy was not feeling him. Amy did not believe him. But she was like, okay, she's still interested. They just kind of, you know, tried to patch things up, obviously. But the both of them are not feeling each other. Of course, um, every other couple talked about, you know, after the recoupling, picking each other again. They talked, Cinco and Trina. Corey, um, Giovanni and um, Olivia, you know, they talk, but I seriously, like I said before, I'm not seeing anything between Giovanni and Olivia. Maybe somebody's faking, maybe Olivia, but well, hold up. We will see. <laughs> okay. Um, there was a scene of 
Corey talking to Florida, you know, talking about how excited he is that he's with her from the moment he saw her and, you know, he couldn't even say the things he wanted to say before picking her and she asked to hear what he wanted to say. He mentioned a few words and everything. I'm like, oh, you're so sweet. But I, 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 I can see through Florida and I, I just, I know that girl is not really feeling Corey, but poor Corey. We'll see going forward. And so next was the scene of Isaiah and Cash after the recoupling, you know, talking, how excited he is with Cash, you know, like to go forward. I was really happy and smiling like, oh my God, brother is saying all the right words. Like Isaiah is saying all the right words, but wait for it because soon it's going to be plain. Okay, I'll just, you know. And then... Amy went on to have a chat with Isaiah and she was like, uh, Isaiah was like, hey, I see you crying. What's like, oh yeah, I'm sad. I'm going through a moment. I'm crying and my best friend, she's supposed to be my best friend. She's all kissing up. And then Isaiah kind of stood up for Cash, like, no, Cash is a, is a good person. She's your best friend and she's there for a reason. And I'm like, yes, like, yeah, Isaiah, come on, you're scoring all the cards. You are definitely scoring everything on my card. And I was like, yeah until you know amy was like okay you two talked like oh yeah um i like i like to go forward with cats and focus on our relationship you know but then i told her i told her i'm still interested in you i'm like oh my god when did you say that did did, did, did i miss something okay or maybe the producers don't show us everything i'll leave it to the producers this time <laughs> It was like, oh my God. And I told her I'm still very much interested in you. And she's quiet away. And I'm like, oh my God, here is some F-boy moves. F-boy moves. Isaiah, like seriously, it's hard to take anybody serious on this show. Like almost everybody's fake, you know, except my girl Cash. I can tell you that almost everybody is fake. The moment he had that conversation with Amy, I knew boy still wants Amy. You know, I've always known that Isaiah wants, you know, the light skinned girls, you know, but for some reason he seemed to be feeling cash after the whole um, position thing and the kissing. And I'm like, okay, maybe he's feeling the spark. But right now, after that chat with Amy, I'm like, oh, Isaiah no like no okay and everybody was doing their own thing and there was this scene of cachet you know vibing with cinco like doing their thing and giovanni and oh my god you, you all wouldn't understand for those people cachet haters you you won't understand why some of us like cash like hey she's not biffing you know cinco she's still vibing with him and like okay although she was like i don't want to be your friend which obviously we, we live in the same island, just this place. We're still going to meet. We'll say our highs and our, our, and our hellos. But she's not carrying heavy faces. She's really vibing with him. And that scene was really cool. You know, I just needed to say that. And of course, um, Jeremy went to check on Amy, you know, to chat. And they had the handshake, the hugs. And it was just, according to Matthew, <laughs> like confirmed, friend zoning. <laughs> They are friends zone each other already. And then, of course, Amy and Cache had, you know, this, this had to had talk, you know, very mature. And, and although Amy was like, oh, no, I'm not upset, you know, that he chose you. I'm like, okay, so why are you upset? <laughs> I'm not upset that he chose you, you know, like being picked with somebody who doesn't want to be with me. But that's not the major reason you were crying the way you were crying. Girls, like, oh my God like on this island seriously nobody has any friends so just forget about this whole best friend thing nobody has no friend period <laughs> and yeah because she was like oh no I, I i really didn't you know mean it to be like that you know with cinco i really didn't give him the kiss on the first day he picked me you know i felt like i didn't start off on a good foot so i'm trying to do good by isaiah i had to return like so like no i'm not upset that you kissed him then girl why are you upset Phew. oh my god this island as they exhaust me you know but yeah th th that's it with that and they hugged you know they made up i think and 
Yeah. And then there comes the scene of Jeremy um, talking to Shannon about um, the, the the words going on in the house and all of that, that he, he didn't say stuff to Florida. However, he's vibing with Florida. He has a spark or connect with her. And Shannon encouraged him to go for her. And I'm like, go. She encouraged him like, okay, even, even if you don't want to, you know, like chase her when you pass each other, you can, you know, give <laughs> like this girl is crazy <laughs> you can just give give her the eyes you know and pass each other and of course she encouraged him to chase after her and then the next minute she's going to talk to Corey I'm like oh my god yes I I heard oh my god Shannon mind your business I said it the last time oh I heard Jeremy talking to Florida, you know, about his feelings for her or whatever the case would be. Let the best man win. I'm here for you. I support you. You know, like she is a backstabber. She is so fake. She has no, no friends. Like she's not true to Jeremy. She's not true to Corey. She's not true to nobody. I doubt if she's even true to Josh because girl, like, oh my God, that's not what you're here for. You got to focus on your relationship, Shannon, okay? Jeremy wastes no time to go to Florida while Corey and Shannon were still talking. He was there, you know, talking to Florida and giving a hug right in front of Corey. Like, oh my God, I felt so bad for Corey. Corey was down. I'm like, oh my God, the first person Corey is actually feeling something for and thinking he's going to vibe with because they all had a good night after the recoupling night. Like, according to Florida, it was just <laughs> like everybody was kissing everybody, you know, at night. So they all seem to have a good, a good night. But deep down, Florida is not feeling Corey and it's so sad. You know, they hugged, you know, just behind Corey in I felt really sad for for Corey. And yeah, in next comes the old school party. Yeah, everybody looked really good for the old school party. They had a good dance and then they had the truth and dare game. Of course, it started with Giovanni. He came on like a comedian, blasting everybody, saying what he feels about everybody the first time he met them. He thought Will was a gigolo and he thought Cinco was a stripper. Like, oh my God, Giovanni, you're crazy. And yeah, that was quite fun. And of course, um, I think the next person was Jeremy, if you were to have a threesome, you should pick two ladies and then give them a really good kiss. He picked Olivia and then he picked Florida and gave these ladies some steaming hot kiss. And of course, yeah, Amy and and Jeremy are just like friends zoning each other. So I doubt if they felt anything or if Amy felt anything. So the next was Trina. She was to pick a lady to do a marshmallow challenge with. And of course she picked um, Shannon. And yeah, they stuffed marshmallow in their mouth. And of course, Trina won and Trina kissed Cinco. Like you could see, <laughs> you could see um, Cache's face when they were kissing, you know, of course. You're definitely going to feel a little bit, uh, uncomfortable, you know, but yeah, Catherine was a little bit, you know, off or, or should I say uncomfortable, but yeah, that, that's with that. And the next one was, um, Amy, you know, she had to pick some more. What was the, I, I can't really remember what was in her card, but she didn't want to pick Isaiah because obviously it was Isaiah and Kashi knew so Kashi was like go for it girl come on go for it go for it and of course she picked Isaiah and they had a really blasting kiss yeah and the next there was a text message and the new boys are in town boom 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 Slade my god Slade is tall Ooh. <laughs> brother is tall and he is so handsome of course Wes is also good looking nice teeth great abs like I really give it to this season casting they did great with the casting like they really did great with the casting and the show is definitely going on interesting and of course the ladies were excited. The guys were looking intimidated, <laughs> according to Slade. And the ladies, you know, showed them around the villa, the island. 
and you know they just you know had a chat with the ladies and of course they went back you know talked about you know what they felt you know and they were like okay what they were thinking before they came you know it was different they, they feel more relaxed you know with the ladies the ladies looking at going for Olivia, he was more Olivia, Olivia, and then he said, maybe Shannon. I'm like, please just take Shannon out of it. Don't even maybe. <laughs> and of course, Wes, it's like, he's coming for Amy. It's all Amy, Amy. And then he said, maybe Cash, you know. And of course, it was the next day. And then they got a test. America voted for Slade to go on a date with Amy. And yeah, they had a nice day, it's a nice conversation. I wasn't feeling anything when I, the two of them together, I really wasn't, you know, but they had a nice conversation. And while they were having that conversation, Slade got a test, he used to pick a second lady of his choice for a date. And of course he picked Olivia. He's always wanted to, you know, have a date with Olivia. <laughs> Lest I forget when the guys came in, Giovanni was like, oh my God, Olivia's face dropped. Olivia literally said she felt her stomach drop <laughs> the minute she saw the guys came in because Slade was everything, you know, check, check, check for Olivia. She wanted a businessman. Slade is a businessman. His store, he's got accents. He's, you know, like check, check, check. And Giovanni knows this. So, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, they had the date. Wes had America vote for Wes to have a date with Cash. She looked beautiful. They had a great conversation. You know, Cache is good with great conversation. They had a great conversation, you know, and, and Wes was definitely feeling her more than before. And of course, Wes also had a second um, choice date. You know, he picked Amy. They also vibed pretty well, talking about food. And Amy talked about the food she used to have, you know, from home with her nana and how she's going to cook for, <laughs> for Wes. <laughs> Yeah, they have great dates, you know. I actually felt Amy and Wes's um date more than um Amy and Slade, you know. And then what's next? The guys talked about their date, the ladies talk about their date, and of course Wes said he kind of felt cachets more surprisingly to him, you know, and um Slade felt Olivia more. Olivia was definitely happy, you know, to go on the date with, with Wes and Giovanni is the star. Before Giovanni could even talk to Olivia, um, Amy came to pull her away and I'm like, oh, poor Giovanni. Yes, in like seriously, from what I can tell, there's no way like the roads are blocked for, for Giovanni and Olivia. She never was into him. Everything she did on Friday was just to save face and to stay. That's what I feel. That's my thought. That's my honest opinion. That's what I really think. She's never into him. And now the opportunity to leave him is here and she's going to turn head. And then Isaiah had a chat with Cash and Cash. Cash actually told us our head is beginning to spin anyway. And I'm like, girl, do you? Because those guys, Isaiah is giving me F boy moves. It's not like Wes is great for her because Wes definitely is into Amy. And I'm so tired of having Cash, you know, involved in any sort of triangle. Like, girl, what's up? Is triangle your favorite shape? Why are you always in a triangle? <laughs> Isaiah and Wes, they are vibing with the same girl, hey, the same girl, hey, the same girl. <laughs> they look alike, according to Matthew, they have same haircut, they like Cash, they like Amy, I'm like, brother, what's up? <laughs> the same girls, yeah, the same girls, and then, yeah, Cash was like, um, I want to get to know him. I will have conversation with him. And then Isaiah was like, okay, I'm just going to let you know if you want to, you know, get to know Wes and talk to him. I'll be open to like, boy, what, what are you even trying to say? And Cash was like, what are you? That's why I love Cash. She is so expressive. She doesn't mix words. Like, what are you saying? Oh no, that's not what I'm trying to say, but that's what you said. Like you're trying to say, I shouldn't try to meet other people. But you have your opportunity. I let you do your thing. And now you're going to stop me from trying. Oh, no, I'm not trying to say that. I'm like, F boy moves. That's a red flag. 
that's a red flag and i'm so not trusting isaiah and like i'm so glad cash knows this that hey this guy right here is not really for me 100 percent. like he's not going down for me so whatever happens you know she knows what to do if wes really connects with her better for her but right now i don't really i don't really see anybody 100 percent you know with cash and it's sad it sucks but it is what it is i don't see any person in that house 100 percent you know for cash and i hope i hope there will be one soon and we all yeah will see. then there was the scene of jeremy kissing florida florida actually wanted the kiss she was like okay you want to kiss me and jerry was like oh yeah and they kiss you want to kiss me now i've been wanting to kiss you for a while Okay. Yeah. So I'm like, oh my god, Florida, like you like Florida, seriously, you can't even be, be vibing with this kind of a guy. You know who he is. He is an F boy. You can tell, you know, with how he played Trina, played Amy, and now you seriously, but well, some guys like bad boys. So who am I to try to say anything, you know? <laughs> However, yeah she spoke to Corey about it oh jeremy kissed me i'm not gonna lie like i did not enjoy it and oh my god Corey's face just dropped and i felt for him but it is what it is so um in the coming days you no know, tomorrow and on tuesday we're gonna see what happened i'll try to check it out on paramount if not maybe on tuesday i'll drop my review and yeah that's it guys i hope you liked today's recap and review like share subscribe turn on the post notification bell so you do not miss another review from me thank you so much everybody for rolling with me have a good night rest and i will see you tomorrow until my next video remember impossible is nothing including cash finding a good man <laughs> We just have to see it, dream it, believe it, and do it. Bye, everybody. I want nobody.